Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella, a first year medical student, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to get an ACE or an A-level maths and my best tips. So I have five main tips that I'm going to talk about, and without any further ado, let's get started. So the first one is not really a tip, it's just what notes I use. So I didn't really make notes in maths, I didn't find that as useful, I would just make flashcards if I had an equation that I was struggling with, but there was this one resource online notes that I found so useful and these are study boxes summary notes there's one for pure maths there's one for statistics and there's one for mechanics I'm gonna link it down in the description box but it's really helpful in getting a general view of how to tackle the basic questions that come up when I say basic I just mean the concept of the questions that come up it doesn't really tackle the complex more difficult questions but it gives you this general idea that is really helpful when you just want a summary that's why it's basically a summary and it's really helpful if for example you forget how to solve a certain question or you want to know what are the basic basic steps of solving a certain question. In regards to those, something that you could also do would be to write any questions that you find really difficult or you can't get your mind around and kind of make this question booklet that you can go back to every time you're struggling with a certain question or every time you want to revise. So all the questions that you find difficult or you cannot solve, then you just write them down. It means that you just have this booklet ready at any time for you to go through it. And it helps a lot in tackling more difficult questions. My second tip would be to make use of YouTube videos. They help me so much, especially since math is a subject where you cannot just memorize a certain solution or way a method of solving. You have to understand the concepts because questions can be varied and you have to understand how to solve them. So watching YouTube videos helped me so much in understanding it, especially in integration and differentiation. I found them so hard, especially the year two ones. So I'm gonna put some um, YouTube channels I found really helpful. There's Zishan Zemorid. This teacher helped me so much in integration and differentiation he explained it in such a good way he gives you questions in the videos that you can solve with him and then he goes through it and it was just so helpful so I definitely recommend checking him out I also heard a lot from my friends and from my colleagues about TL Maths they also said that it was an amazing resource so you can check both out I'm gonna put them in the description box make sure that you're understanding the concept so this links to the YouTube videos but understanding the concept in maths is so important so you can actually solve the questions when they vary a bit my third tip would be after understanding how to solve the question, it's so important to practice, practice, practice. And maths is one of those subjects that the only way you can do it is by doing on hands practice. Without it, you won't be able to do it. It's so important. Some of the things that I did was if when you have the Ed Excel textbook or the AQA, you have end of chapter questions and lesson questions. So make sure to do all these questions after your lesson or in the weekend when you're revising. Make sure to do the end of chapter questions. Make sure that you are recapping and practicing stuff from the previous content that you've learned so for example if you're in year 13 make sure that you continue practicing year 12 papers and that you just keep doing them something like once a week or once every fortnight is so important because math is a subject that you can actually forget like if you forget it you're gonna have to relearn it again and I did this mistake where in year 13 I had this couple of months where I completely didn't do maths anymore because we finished the curriculum and I just kept focusing on my biology and chemistry then when I started doing maths again I've forgotten everything and it was so hard going back and trying to like remember everything so it's really important for you to make sure that you're practicing and don't do my mistake. Some of the websites that I found really useful for finding questions were physics and math tutor, save my exams was really good, revisely was also really good if you wanted to get specific question practice it categorized the questions in a really nice way. You have A level maths revision and stuff like Maths Genie and Study Mind. These are all websites that you can find a plethora of questions, so they're really useful for practicing. And then you also have the AQA website or your board website for exam papers, practice papers. My fourth tip is gonna be a tip that you don't have to do, but it definitely helped a lot. I, in year 12, I was doing further maths, but then I decided to stop doing it at year 13. So I bought a graphing calculator because I heard that graphing calculators were really helpful for further maths. I didn't know that you didn't need it, but I got it just in case. And then when I didn't do further maths, I was just doing maths. It was so helpful. It helped in, for example, finding tangents, finding intersection points and graphs and that kind of stuff. So it made the process much easier. It didn't solve the questions for you, but it made it so that if you solve the question, you can check if the answer is right or not. So it was really helpful. So this is just an extra. It doesn't really give you a huge advantage, but it does make your life a bit easier in feeling more secure with your answers. So if you want to buy a graphing calculator, then that is also an option. I'm gonna link down the one that I bought. 
Finally, my fifth tip would be memorizing some of the equations in the formula booklet. You don't need to memorize equations, but sometimes if you memorize it, it means that you're going to be able to rearrange it and use it quicker because the exams and timed conditions, saving time is always really important so that you can spend more time with the harder questions. So memorizing the basic equations is going to help with rearranging and using them in more difficult questions. So these are my five main tips for math specifically. In terms of this general studying tips, make sure to always catch up on revision. If you like behind, it's fine, but make sure that you're catching up because you do not want to be cramming at the end during a mocks or A levels. So try and make sure that you're studying and catching up on your work. And towards exam time, always, always, always focus on practice questions. With math, this is going to be um, practice questions all the way. Um, but with other subjects as well, make sure that you're focusing on practice questions much more closer to exams because they're really helpful. And closer to any exams like mocks or A levels, make sure that you're making an exam time timetable with topics that you want to go through, topics that you're struggling with, to so structure it in a way that you won't miss out suddenly and realize that you hadn't done a topic two days before the exam and that will cause much more stress. One thing that I like to do with my exam timetable is I would work backwards with exams. So if I have maths and then biology and chemistry, the way I would devise is I do chemistry, biology, maths. So the day that I do math is close to the exam and then during the exams themselves then I would just revise the exam that I have the day before. So it was, I don't know what the term for it is, but it's like almost an inverse timetable and um, working backwards kind of that was really helpful in preparing myself yes yeah, so overall these are my main tips for maths a level and just exams in general and sixth form in general and good luck in your exams if you have any questions or any extra tips that you found helpful for you please write them down in the comments and if you have any other video ideas or stuff that you'd like to see make sure you also write them down in the comments and thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe bye